welcome back to my channel as you guys can see by today's title i'm going to be doing a review on the clement's louis vuitton wallet um so we're gonna jump right into today's video so i got this wallet as a birthday gift um from efren and the style he decided to give was the demir um print um and the reason why he did that was because he knows i like this print um a little bit more than the monogram and also um because he did also get me the never full um mm bag last year for christmas so it matches more with that wallet so he decided to get me that one it's very easy to open like i have no issues with it i know some people do or um it comes defective but i don't have no issues it's really easy um and then so this is what it looks like in the inside um so on this side i carry all of my credit cards debit cards and then i have a picture of me and efren in there and just like one receipt but so i have four um cards so i have two debits and two credit cards and then in the back i just have um two dollar bills for good luck um i don't carry cash it's rare when i do um but i should carry a few just in case but i don't so i just and if i was to carry cash i'll put it in the back and then on the other side i have all of my um my insurance cards um that i need um driver's license id car insurance and then um in the back since i do have a lot of cards um in the back i just carry um gift cards that i have um and just some goodies um and i just carry like my BLS and my MA certificate um not certificate um well it's because I'm certified so it's a little um wallet size so I just carry like little um cars and you know it's pretty roomy I like how it has a lot of card slots more than my other um wallet um, the only sad part is um, I always carry like a cute picture of Evan and I and um, the other wallet did have like a slot where it was clear where I was able to put it there and I can see it and so now I just put it there um, but it's still pretty like it's still cute I still have it there um, I have no issues with it I love this wallet I don't know if you guys saw my other video where I did it was a Palm Springs mini um, review and I did mention how I love big wallets and um, I think I showed you guys my MK wallet there I don't know but I had like I have a full-size wallet and I said how I love full-size wallets so um, I don't like small wallets personally that's me um, but I also don't like to carry a lot of things but I don't know I'm weird I just love full-size wallets and I like to carry everything in my wallet like my wallet is my everything um, I love how it's the red interior I love it um, there's different styles monograms that you can choose um, but this is my favorite and this is also the one that I ever chose to also match with my never fool I'll also be um, doing a review on that purse, so stay on the lookout for that. Um, but other than that, I don't have any issues with it. Like I said, I really just adore and love this wallet. It's so cute. It's thin, um, and it also fits um, in my Palm Spring backpack, which uh, first when I got it, I was like, is it going to fit there? I was a little like, oh, I don't know, because, you know, I love full-size wallets. But it does fit there. When I did get this wallet, I was looking at reviews. And the only issue that I found that some people were saying was that sometimes 
the little zipper in the inside pocket would go to the side let me see if i can do that well it doesn't i don't know why thankfully the zipper doesn't do that to my wallet because i'm trying to show you guys okay there let me close it where like it would go to the side and then like they would try to close it and then like i'll have like a little bump i don't know if you guys can see to me it just came out because my it came out but because my little zipper doesn't do that thankfully i got pretty lucky um so for me personally i don't have any issues with it you might encounter that issue um but i don't think it's a big deal um i mean unless you're in the store and you're like rushing then it's like oh you know but like i said thankfully i don't have that issue um do i recommend this wallet yes 100 percent um i think for the it is pretty pricey but compared to the other um, Louis Vuitton wallets, it's it's a pretty good price. Um, if you compare it to the CP wallet, I think that's what it's called, um, it is more expensive. I also know this wallet is also very hard to get. I remember when I was trying to get it, it was always out of stock. Um, I don't know how FM was able to get it. But um, this wallet also retails for... 570 um so i think it's a good price like i said compared to the other ones um like the sarah wallet is 720 the cp wallet um is 850 um i was like i was very like indecisive on which one i wanted to get um but i ended up doing the clements wallet and i don't regret it at all i love it i'm so happy i chose this one um like i said i was looking at the reviews and you know i didn't really find anything wrong with it another thing that made me go with this wallet is that um this B wallet doesn't have the red color so i was like yeah no like i am a big fan of low tone when it's red interior and I know the CP wallet doesn't have red, so I was like, yeah, no. So, um, like I said, I'm glad. Because I probably would have gone with the CP wallet, but no. And I am, like I said, I'm so glad I chose this. And I recommend it. It's 10 out of 10. Um, and, you know, Christmas, if you're a guy and you're watching this and you have a girlfriend, Christmas is coming up. This would be a good gift for your girl. Trust me, she would love it. That's pretty much... Um, all about this review i hope you guys like it and i hope i tried to explain as much as i could i know there was not much to say it's just simply i love this wallet um i don't see anything um wrong with it like i don't have any issues all i have to say is just good review so i mean you have to try it out for yourself um but that's all with that review and then I do want to mention a few lashes. I am supporting a small business that is just starting out. And I'm going to be leaving her information down below that we guys can check her out. But I am currently wearing one of her lashes. Um, these are so cute. I love how they look on me. I don't know if you guys can see. But they are so cute. Um, the style that I'm currently wearing is in the style Toxica. Um, I also on number 101. Um, they do retail from $5 and up, depending. And then um, I also have this style. I don't know if the camera can do its justice. But these are so freaking cute. Um, these are in the style La Diva, um, or also, on the, I don't know if you guys can see by the number, 105 price. Retails for $5 and up, like I said, depending. But these lashes are so cute, especially the ones that I'm wearing. Well, she just came out with um, this new eyeliner. Um, it's not just any eyeliner, it's also a glue eyeliner. So you apply your eyeliner. And right away you pop in your lashes and you don't need no glue you can't tell me that's freaking amazing how much time it saves you you don't have to worry about the glue drying on your lashes you just simply pop them in 
and you're good to go. Um, it holds up pretty fast. I'm actually wearing the eyeliner. I don't know if you guys can see. And it holds up pretty good. And so this is the eyeliner. Um, I believe the eyeliner retails for $10. Um, but it is so cute. It is also waterproof. Um, and it's just amazing. So I am trying it out. So far it's good. So I have the eyeliner and then the eyelashes in the style Toxica. And it looks amazing. It looks bomb. And all I have to say is just good things. So I would really recommend for you guys to go and check it out. And support a small business. Um, it is a good price. Especially the eyelashes. $5. That's a very good price. And I really recommend it. As I said I'm going to be leaving her information down below. So make sure you guys um, check her out. And this pretty much concludes today's video. If you guys like it, please like, share, and subscribe. And until my next one, bye.